Hi Sagittarius, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and lovelies, this is your What The Fuck reading 16th to the 22nd of November. Just a shout out to the candles again, um, mellowglowcandles.com, go and have a look, the link is below um, and let's get your energy card. Very nice. You have earth magic, darlings. That beautiful fairy. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what's happening around you this week. What started the what the fuck for Sagittarius? Thank you. Facing your fears and taking your power back. Your manifestation and wish fulfillment. Your journey. Oh, where the fuck you need to be. What the fuck is out of Sagittarius's hands? Reconnecting to you. And, oh, your outcome. Okay, darlings. Right, so, as soon as I saw the wild hunt. Now, normally I get, you shine a light on the hunt. It illuminates something and you get a choice to rebuild your tower or whatever. I'm kind of getting, you've had a few disasters. And I'm not talking emotionally. I'm talking physically. I'm talking maybe the car broke down or maybe um, there was a power cut. Something has happened that's made you think, shit, I'm out of here. And, and it's made you feel like, although I think you can laugh about it now, at the time I'm getting that it felt quite disastrous. So I don't know if you missed a deadline because of what happened. I don't know um, if you lost out on some work because of what happened. But it caused some fucking chaos when it happened. And I'm getting now you can look back at it and you can think, oh, it wasn't as big a disaster as you thought it was. But right at that moment in time, it really felt like it was quite a significant event. So, darlings, facing your fears and taking your power back. Some of you are going to be on a course, university something through work maybe something of interest but this is you going back to basics this is you adding to this already beautifully equipped toolkit um by going back and learning something new and i'm getting that i can hear a child laughing so it's something that's really enjoyable to you it's not a chore you are really grasping what it is and it's almost like it's coming to you like magic so you are standing beautifully in the power of learning no matter what kind of learning it is and it can be physical mental emotional spiritual even sensual learning but i am getting that you are really enjoying the learning aspect so in your manifestation your wish fulfillment darlings i'm getting that you are laying plans for either a business or an application to a job, maybe se several applications, but I'm getting that you are planning um, for a way to make money, um, and absolutely why not? Um, the plan that you've got may lead you to be self-employed, it may lead you to be employed, but something that you really enjoy doing, as well as making your pennies so my lovelies your movement your journey you have the three of wands you are looking out overseas towards your future uh you're waiting on the shore for something i'm getting the feeling this is something or somebody who is abroad and you are waiting for them to arrive back or maybe you're going to pop yourself on that ship and sail out to meet them whichever way it is i'm not getting a bad feeling about this at all 
it is absolutely what you want but currently darlings now I got this in another another reading and I was telling people off for not saying how they felt but this I'm getting that you're holding back on emotions not because of a loved one but because I'm getting that you don't want to give the game away you don't want I'm getting that you don't want to pressurise somebody else by explaining how you feel. Male or female, I'm getting that maybe this is a water sign, Sagittarius. You've got two earth signs so far and this is a water sign. Now this is definitely you because this is fire. So I'm getting that although you're waiting for this person, um, don't be too guarded about not telling them how you feel because i'm kind of getting that maybe they're waiting for your lead and you're waiting for their lead and you're not getting anywhere with it so what you can do about the situation darlings four of a theme is go and have a think about things go and have a lay down go and think things through really is that really like a fire sign no, it's like an air sign. Air signs do that. They go and over-process stuff. I am getting that you are overthinking things. You're overthinking things through. Um, and I'm getting that you're giving yourself a bloody headache because that's what you're doing. As a fire sign, I would expect to see a knee-jerk reaction not I'm going to go and lay down and think about things. So what's been moved out of your way? Oh, look at this. You've got the Queen of Chalices as well as the King of Chalices, male or female. This person has been moved out of the way. They're, you can't do anything about this at the moment. I'm getting that that's who you're waiting for to come in. I'm getting that's who you're waiting for to come in. Um... It's not because I'm getting that there's distance between you, definitely. I'm getting that they are overseas. Um, but she's very soothing. She, Although she's being lifted away from you, your physical side of you, mental, emotional and spiritual, she is with you 100%. And she is saying, step into the waters and heal because it won't be long. We wa It won't be long before um, we're back together. So step into the waters, heal, heal with me stay with me and help me fill this cup up because we've both got a cup to fill up but both of you are holding back don't do that because she is the queen of diversion and she will divert herself away from you if you don't start coughing up the true you which is you and i'm getting you are standing on this dock with anticipation and the heart is pumping because you just want this to come back to you. So lovelies. I have got your reconnection card. The reconnection to your true self. You got the ten of wands. This is a completion of burdens. This is you understanding that if you want to get to that hit, top of that hill. You need to put some of this shit down. You really need to get rid of it. Um, it's not all yours. Give back what doesn't belong to you. Um, and put some of those and even do you know what even your burdens i'm getting you're seeing them as burdens but in actual fact they're not burdens they're blessings you need to change your perspective on that so your outcome you have got the battle wagon now darlings you come back triumphant over something but you're still not in bloody control are you there's no reins there to be seen the horses are going every which way um i'm gonna say just bloody enjoy the journey because right in behind that you've got a shift coming in and it's going to be a big a it's going to be a wish fulfillment there's a shift coming in and it's going to serve you really really well um i don't do love readings you know i don't but i am actually getting that you are preparing a way for a union with somebody and you are preparing really well, Sagittarius. 
male or female, I don't care who you are, you are preparing for this union. And I'm getting that maybe some things have got in the way of this happening, but I'm not getting that you've lost any contact. I think you are wholeheartedly 100% together. And the burdens that you're feeling are the burdens of being apart. So this is this this is this is you. You're gonna come back back from the battle triumphant, but you ain't gonna have any control over what happens next. But let me tell you, it's gonna be lovely. It really is. Just go with the flow. Do not spin that wheel. Do not stop that wheel. Just let it happen naturally. What a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. And I'm not surprised by the nine of chalices being at the bottom of the deck. This is your wish fulfillment. This is your burning desire and looking into that crystal ball with clarity and towards your future. And I've just looked up at the earth magic. Believe you me, this is going to feel like it was magic, like the fairies had a finger in this very, very nice pie. Absolutely. It is magical. There's hard work. There is hard work. The only downside is, is don't hold back on what you are feeling. Be honest with how you're feeling. Put those burdens down. Because they're not really burdens. They're blessings. Oh, I'm not taking that many. Anything else? For Sagittarius, please. Okay, darlings, you have trader and it says exchange energy to create abundance, really? That's lovely. And then Shoni Master, be, be graceful in movement and action. Okay, darlings, that is your reading, 16th to the 22nd of November. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe. Know that I love and appreciate you. And doing this journey with me on Angels and Ancestors, please like, share and subscribe for me. And I'll see you in next week's reading. Bye for now.